selector switch, obviously. Then we need two auxiliary contacts. So one of these auxiliaries goes on each of the contacts like this. All right, so when you look at the selector switch, this is terminal one, and then this is terminal two, and then terminal three, and we have terminal four here. Okay, so our input supply, that is the feed that comes to the switch, will connect to terminal one, and then we'll loop to terminal three. So terminal three, All right, so our feed is done, connected to terminal three, and then looped to terminal one. So here, the next thing we have to do is to take a connection from this switch to power the contactor. But then before then, we have to decide which of these sections or which of these numbers should control forward and which of them should control the reverse movement of the motor. Okay, so here I'll be doing the arrangement so that when the switch is at one, the motor will be moving forward. And then when it goes to two, it will reverse. Okay, so this contactor will be my forward contactor. And then this one will be the reverse contactor. Okay, so we take a connection from terminal two. Okay, so that's from terminal two. And then... Connect neutral to A2 of the forward contactor. And so when the control switch goes to one, forward contactor is activated. Okay. Briefly stop and then it goes to reverse. <laughs> 